So I'm looking for a way to get MIDI files into my MPC software. And so I've got a client who wants something. I'm trying to do this film score thing. I got a friend who plays keyboard. He's in middle of California somewhere. I don't know where the hell he's actually. And I want to bring some MIDI files. And you know something? There's no entrance here for that. Like, I'm in front of MPC software and there's nothing here. Like, I could go like, where? So I go to yesterday's a new session. I'm going to go to empty project. I get here. I do empty project. I come to here and load, 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 save, 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 export. But there's no loading. Okay. Uh, load, nothing. So I can't do any of that. Right. So I got nothing I can do. So what I have to do, I got to go to Akai's website. So um, I'm in Akai's website here and I go to here. And I need support and contact them for support. And I got this. Okay, how can we help you today? I like that. I'm going to go ahead and say, I need. No, I'll go MIDI import. Pretty slow typing, right? Now I'm going to press the button. Return me some information I need. And I go to here and I see what MIDI preferences importing the MIDI map. Okay, I got to get really specific here. Wait, let me get something. Hold on. Okay, I got it. How to get some coffee. Oh, look at that. Okay, how to get some coffee here. I need some milk. She went to work. Okay, so import mini files. Oh, in files. There we go. Import MIDI files. Okay, and it says create, export, import new MIDI maps. Huh? I said file. I didn't say map. Akai Pro software training even. This is an Akai Pro software and training. In the training session, there's nothing here about Riding the Cubase, riding the Cubase, up, set up in Logic Pro X. Files can be downloaded. What's wait a minute? Mapping again. We're back to this mapping idea. Okay, so okay, forget this. So what I had to do was come up with a way for me to actually dump files in here. And so, pretty much, I'm going to use just the browser here. So I've got some mini files. Some songs I already know. And then someone else contacted me on YouTube in my last video about something about um I'm doing a video on VSTs and he's doing a MIDI map again, about MIDIs again, about MIDI input something. So look, um, we're gonna bring a MIDI file in here. It was weird actually trying to do this last night. So I'm gonna close out GarageBand. I had to experiment with GarageBand too. Oh, here we go. So I've got MIDI files right here. I got some new file stuff you should actually know, like here's some Dr. Dre, I got some Rick James. Let's go with a Rick James idea. So, uh, here we go, Rick James. Rick James MIDI, is a MIDI file. Let's try something else. Um, yeah, let's go with Rick James. I pulled into here, and I got nothing. <laughs> Look at this. It says Rick James there, and that's it, Rick James. Check it out. So, and then you realize it's only two bars. Now, wait a minute. The song was actually more than that. I gotta get some milk. So, what I had to do was investigate. So, I go to here. Whoa, there are tracks there. So, I just pulled that file. There are tracks there. So, I'm gonna need to do something like uh, go further than this. So, I go back here. And I see, when I get to here, bar 12 and bar 13, there's stuff here. I got to move over here. Okay, there's MIDI in there. So I want to go to MIDI right here. So I go to my MIDI thing right here, and I want to see the MIDI. So I go to here, and then I don't see anything. I go up. I gotta probably got to go up here. I got to move up here. There it is. There's some MIDI stuff right there, right? And so we see MIDI for this one piece here. There's MIDI in there. So it's hard to get it in. It's kind of like, what? So what I have to do here is I have to go to... Here, I'm going to go to a plugin. 
I want to make sure the mini's, the mini's still in there, perfect. So sometimes I think if I change it up, it's bad. But in this case, this is brand new. So it's no program yet. I've got Fabric right here. And so I know track two is going to be the base for this thing. And I want to come in here and see track two. Okay, good. So I'm going to go add a plugin. Add a plugin here. This is a program. I want to add a plugin here. So I want to add plugin number two. Add two. There you go. I added a plugin right here. Here's Fabrique. And then what I want to do here is I want to get down to here and find a, a bass line, maybe, or a bass, a sub bass. So no, a bass guitar. Let's get a bass guitar, a bass guitar, a bass guitar, a bass guitar. Here we go. Guitars, bass guitar. I think Rick James is like, right? So I got to get a bass thing up here, a slap bass, a DI direct input slap bass. Let's see this. No, I'm not doing that show. Oh, here we go. And now, what? Okay, so you can see, obviously, look, that's where it started from right there. And so now what I want to do, obviously, there's a loop lined up in here somewhere. So I'm going to go all the way over here and keep going until I see music, 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 music. Stop. There's too much, too many bars anyway. And I come back here. That's the bass line. So I got it. So you can just import MIDI directly into the grid. Before I was trying to dump stuff in here, the sequence, I went to the browser, and that's in that um, MPC Bible thing had that information. I was like, what? And so I tried to put a file in the browser, that didn't work. So putting the file in the browser, I grabbed the file like this. Let me see what the file, oh, here we go. I grab a file like this, and I, let's say, I go, here's, here's this, and here's this. I go to file, I go to files right here, this is better. And then I want to go back up, let's say, back up, go back to content, files. I'm going to grab a file. I'll just put a file in here. Watch this. I'll put a file in here, add a file. Huh? It's not in there. So there's no way to do that. So I have to actually take the file, bring it in here. And then you're going to see when you get in here that it's going to have tracks right here. So to prove this again, I had to prove it to myself. I didn't believe it. So I got to prove it again. So I'm going to go over here now. I'm going to get something else. I know it's got to, let's see. Uh, let's see. We're going to get chic. Okay, chic. I'm going to just grab Sheik here and try and put it in this file. Where are you going? I don't need you to put it right here on top of that one. And now it tells me this one is full, sequence one. And next it's going to say sequence two. There's sequence two. So I'll do it sequence two. I'm doing it in sequence two. We're going to sequence two. It's going to load it in. Ooh, some magic happened. And now what I want to do is sort of move this thing over here and get it real. There you go. I need to make that thing really actually full. It looks like. Cheesy, like this BS in here. There we go. Now we got something. We're in track two and track. Well, here it is. Here it is. Chic. And you see what happened again? Okay, it gives me this weird thing where you get these two bars in front of here. Like there's nothing there. At all. I gotta go back here. So what I do, I'm gonna come here actually and get rid of this crap. This is really stupid. I'll come and get rid of the four bar. Get rid of those four bars. So I'm gonna come to here. I'm gonna say, uh, nope. This is this track actually. I'm gonna come here track and I want to delete. I want to delete some bars here. And now I don't know where to delete stuff at. Oh, this is piano. So I'm not doing the piano anyway. Oh, here we go. We got stuff here. Piano, bass. Oh, we're going to bass now. So let's go to track two. And now I want to delete bars. I come here, delete bars. I want to delete the first four bars. So I'm gonna go to here. It says 12, but you want to go to four. Four bars, okay, do it. Let's get rid of it, man. Okay. <laughs> it got rid of four bars somewhere. I don't know where it got rid of four bars at, but let's go back to here again, and we're going to do it again. Delete four bars. Okay. Oh, that's Rick James. Uh-oh. We go back to Sheik. So you got to know what you're doing up here. You don't do that, you're like, what the hell am I doing? Do I know what I'm doing? There you go. I got the four bars here. Okay, good. So now I'm going back to here. Oops. I want to grab this thing. This loop is ridiculous. I'm going to pull this. Well, come on, come on, come with me. Come on, let me get the little thing. Got to get that little arrow pointing in two directions. There we go, right here. That's good. So now I got to add a bass. So you see this is drums array. I got this as a drum program. I can be a key group program. I'm going to make it to a plug-in program. 
and I want to use plug into the slap base right here. Why not? Of course. And it's going to prove that we can actually import MIDI into the software, even though Akai doesn't even tell you how to do it, which is kind of weird, I thought, but you don't know. You don't. Oh, damn. Okay, I know what that is. Okay, so that's, I play bass. The first note is going to be E. That's down here. Right? Here we go. And I want to go to this E. Okay, good. So I'm going to just select all, go to here, and I want to sort of see this a little longer, so I'm going to get a little wider. So let's go to here a little bit more. Okay, let's go up to here a little bit more. Ah, oh, good, I can see it now. Now I'm going to scroll to the end. Here we are, the first bar. There we go. And so now I know where I want to go. I want to sort of like go from that E to the E up there. And so I just want to grab this. That's E right there, dog. Okay, that's there. Okay, that's no big deal. But we want to make sure other stuff is here because you never know when you import a MIDI file if it's going to be real. So we've got keyboards. Let's go to piano now. Piano's right here. We want to make another plug-in track. Plug-in right here. I'll go to here. It's going to be a new one. We'll use Fabrique. We want to go to a piano. And I'm looking for a piano here I could use. And what do we got here? Uh, we're going to use this suitcase right here. And we'll see if this works. Okay. You can import MIDI files. They don't tell you how to do it, but I figured it out. It's pretty simple. Load them into the grid, then check it out. If you can't see them, move further down the grid. They might just be there. Ridiculous. So anyway, back to work. And I'm doing the MPK Mini Plus. It's early in the morning, so I'll check in a few.